What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dan. Today we're talking about the Priya Outdoor Products Bryce One Person Tent, which could possibly be the best value tent on the market for the money because this thing only costs you $145 and is a fully freestanding tent that's under three pounds. Have you heard of this tent? I have not. You not? Most people probably have not heard of this tent. Uh, this is sort of like a, a company that many people probably know if you're like into camping and backpacking, but a lot of people don't know about this company. So we're gonna we're gonna try to put them on the map today. So uh, pre-outdoor products, uh, you guys can uh, hopefully love that. I'm not getting paid, this is not a sponsored video, if anybody's wondering, so. But we need to get this tent set up first. Uh, I'll just kind of walk you through how it's set up, and then we'll walk through some of the features, and then hopefully by the end of this video, you'll agree with me that uh, this is probably the best buy um, that you can get today for a tent. right out here plus you guys don't ever get to see the cameraman <laughs> so can you see him in there okay um so this is a fast fly setup right here uh, which is amazing for a tent of this cost uh, it comes with the footprint a lot of tents don't even come with a footprint matter of fact a lot of companies will actually charge you like 50 to 80 dollars or more for just the footprint of a tent like after you've already bought the tent you got to go back and buy a footprint uh, some people call it a ground cloth, some people call it a ground cover. But this one has the ability, because it's got grommets on the corners, to stake out the poles first, and then you could put the fly over it so that you can set this one up in the rain, which is awesome, because now all I gotta do is attach the tent underneath it if it's raining. So I don't have to worry about the interior of my tents getting wet at all. This thing is a fully freestanding tent. So for under 150 bucks, um, under 300, 300 pounds, <laughs> <laughs> under 150 bucks and under three pounds, that is almost unheard of. I, matter of fact, I think it might actually be completely unheard of. So what that means is that you can literally pick this tent up and move it around. I've got it staked down right now, but like if I don't like where it's at right here, I can pick it up and move it and it's still gonna like keep its shape. So I technically don't need it staked out, but. I always stake out all my tents because it really just opens up the tent um, completely so you got a lot more room on the inside anyway. So the poles on here, they're obviously not going to be like your DAC poles or um, anything like that, your DAC, DAC aluminum poles, which you're going to see in a lot of the high-end tents. These are just some you know cheaper poles. I've had this out on two different backpacking trips, this particular tent, so probably five or six nights I've slept in this tent and I've ha I have no problems at all with these poles here at all. The only negative I found to this pole setup is this right here is a little small. And so um, I guess it could have the potential of popping out, but even if I try to pull on there, it really, it really doesn't. But it's really solid. I mean, there's nothing chintzy about this tent at all. So you would think at this price it'd be underbuilt, but it's, it's really not. So let's get the rain fly on so you can kind of see what it looks like. Fully staked out, nice and taut. And then we'll go inside the tent and kind of walk you through some of the features. Dan, you backpack with a brick, what's going on? When the ground is frozen, I bring bricks. Is that a problem? I guess not. No. <laughs> we may or may not be in my backyard right now. <laughs> so the door of the tent is on the head end of the tent. So this isn't obviously a, a tent that's gonna have side doors or a side door. So if that's a problem for you, then for $150, it shouldn't be a problem for you. But it opens up super easily. Like, look at this. The, it almost never catches. Like, that's unheard of on tents. So really, really nice. And then the vestibule here is actually decent. I mean, it's not a huge amount of space out here, but you can certainly get a backpack in here. It's the only problem with like what I find is with uh, tents that are like these front door style tents is that if you do put gear out here, sometimes it can get in the way of you getting in and out of the tent. But because this one's pretty wide, you can still like put your backpack over here on this side, open it up, and then, you know, kind of squeeze past it on the other side. So, I mean, it's not the end of the world. It would be nice if it was a little bit bigger of a vestibule, but really I I'm like trying to find things wrong with this tent, 
for the price. And if that's <laughs> if that's gonna be like an issue to you for 150 bucks for what you're getting, then uh, I really don't know how to please you. Okay, so this is the Thermarest NeoAir X Therm. Um, this particular one is a 25 inch wide pad all the way down. This pad costs almost $300. It's like $280 or $290 or something US, which is like double the price of this entire tent. So I wanna just put that in perspective for you because most people uh, love this pad and this is like their go-to pad for especially cold weather because it's a nice warm pad. But as you slide this into the tent, there is so much room in there as a 25 inch wide pad. I mean, look at how much room is left around that tent, around that pad, around that tent pad. <laughs> <laughs> come on inside the tent, why don't you come on in? Thank you. Oh, there it is. Come on in, welcome, welcome. So um, I'm actually towards sort of the back of the tent. So yeah, it's obviously uh, all up on my grill, but let's go this way so you can kind of see. Sitting up in the tent, um, it's not terrible. Yeah, the sides are gonna kind of come in on you, uh, but you know, for what you're getting, it's not a big deal at all. So laying down though, I mean, the headroom and just the room in general is just so good. It's so good. So uh, do you have a spot to hang your headlamp? Yeah, you do. Look at this. As a matter of fact, you've got an actual hook up here. Can you believe that? And you have another one right here, an actual hook in the tent, which is unheard of. Um, and then you got a pocket on this side. You've got, I don't know why you need it, but you got a pocket on this side as well. And then with this 25 inch wide pad, I've got all this extra room in here. Like I could literally easily just throw my backpack in here if I wanted to. So while the vestibule is a little small, it's not that big of a deal to have a backpack in here with you as well. So inside of one person tents, my, my fear was always that I was gonna be kind of claustrophobic. I don't feel claustrophobic in this thing at all. So super cool. So if you look at the floor, no seam. It's a full sheet of nylon, which is awesome. So even some expensive tents will have a seam down the middle that's taped. So um, that is really, really cool. This tent comes with, I wanna say 12 stakes, <laughs> which is a whole lot of stakes. Um, and they do that because they're giving you four for the ground cloth, another four for the corners of the tent. They're giving you two for the um, head end of the tent where the vestibule is. And then for ventilation, if you're worried about ventilation, you can pull these out and guy these out and stake this out too. So you've got stakes that they give you for this as well on both sides. So you will have some ventilation coming up right here. So for ventilation, it does have a double zip. So it's got a zip that uh, comes in the bottom of the tent door so you can unzip it there. But then up here, you can just unzip right here and you've got ventilation. How cool is that? A lot of the um, expensive tents don't even come with that. So that's really, really cool that they thought about that, that they're giving you that. And then as far as like guy out points, they're absolutely everywhere. You got guy outs here, you got guy outs here. Um, you can guy out, like I said, around the stakes. So, if you are in sort of a high wind environment, the, the tent can be a guide out. On the back of the tent, it's even got ventilation. You can put a little prop here that's built into the tent, Velcro that like that, and <laughs> now you got ventilation. So a concern that I often have when I buy tents, especially when they're low cost or it looks like it's gonna kind of be a chintzy pole structure is if I get this thing in high winds and the wind is really barreling down on it, is it going to barrel down on me in the middle of the night? Like, is it gonna push down on me? And you can see that this, I'm actually pushing pretty hard on this tent. I would say that this is actually a very, very strong tent for what it is. I would not be worried about the wind pushing in on you. I mean, I guess if it's barreling like this, it's gonna kind of maybe push in like that, but the tent pole isn't going to bend I mean, you'd have to get a lot of wind on here for that thing to really be pushing to where it's like gonna barrel down on you. Okay, so I've really got a nitpick here to find things wrong with this tent. And for 150 bucks, <laughs> I mean, I've, it's a real stretch to even say there's some things wrong with this tent. But if I had to pick a few things, I would say that the stakes could probably be better. Um, the headroom on the tent is definitely a little bit narrow when you sit up. 
and I wish that the corners of the rain fly were color coded uh, so it'd be a little bit easier to set up. But honestly, since you got a door on the front end, that's kind of a given where the head end of the tent is. So for those of you that have been asking me for the past, I don't know how long to review gear that is inexpensive but still good, I've just done it. I highly, highly recommend this tent, especially for those of you that are just getting into backpacking and you don't want to spend a lot of money, or even some of you that just want to upgrade gear and you don't want to spend a lot of money on a piece of good gear. This is it. The Bryce One Person Tent by Pre Outdoors, highly recommend it. It's got to be the best tent on the market for the money. So we'll see you guys on the next one.